dependency is in test ng sometimes you may need to invoke methods in a test case in a certain order test ng allows you to specify dependencies either with annotations or in xml we will see both the ways first we see dependencies with annotations test ng allows you to specify dependencies either with using attribute depends on methods in at test annotation or using attribute depends on groups in at test annotation let's see a practical example on this now i'm going to create a java class depends on method test case i have created a java class depends on methods test case inside that i'm going to create two methods test case 1 and test case 2 for both the methods i am taking the annotation at test and in the method 1 i am going to print a statement like test case 1 and i am creating the second method public void test case 2 and inside that i am going to print the statement like test case 2 Now I will add the test case name in the testng.xml file. Depends on methods test case. I am copying here and opening the testng.xml file. Here I am changing the class name. The class name is package.testcase. Software test mate testing material is a package and depends on method test case is our class. Now I will execute this testng.xml and show you the output. In the console you can see the output as test case 1 and test case 2. Now I am going to mention attribute in at test annotation of first method test case 1. I am taking depends on method here. The test case 1 at test annotation depends on test case 2 method. Let me save this and execute the testng.xml file and see the output now. In the output console you can see test case 2 and then you can see the test case 1. This is because we used the attribute depends on method in at test annotation of test case 1 method. So test case 1 method is depends on test case 2. So the output displayed in the console output as test case 2 and then test case 1.